What's up guys, DIY Savage Guy here, and today, it's cold. What we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be painting. We're gonna try to do this, and I know everyone says you're not supposed to do this, but what I have, and I'll show you guys in a minute, I have a nice garage setup that I think I'm gonna be able to use, and it's gonna be able to come out really nice. So we got a nice propane uh, torpedo heater, and we also have an electric heater to keep it going after we shut that heater off. And I think it's gonna come out really good. But either way, you guys are gonna learn alongside with me whether this is an acceptable approach or not. I don't wanna let winter stop me from doing this stuff, so I wanna keep going and going and going. So you guys could tell, we got snow on the ground, we got snow everywhere. It is a brisk 18 degrees right now. I'm getting my garage up to temperature as we speak, hoping to spray around 70, 72, right around there. And I'm also gonna take a heat gun to the panels. That way I get everything up to the temperature that it needs to be not just the air temperature so if you guys are new here hope you guys stick around for the long haul hope you guys like subscribe throw me some comments let me know what you guys think about this stuff really appreciate you guys being here also make sure you guys are following me over on instagram got a link right down here and also make sure you guys have your post notifications on because that way you guys stay up to date on the build and everything else that goes on on the channel All right, we let it go about 20 minutes. So we're gonna hit with our second coat now. We're gonna go a little thicker now and see if we can blend in that tape line. I think I shouldn't have did that, but uh, you know, we live and learn right here. We're learning as we go.
All right, we are going to hit it with the third coat right now. It's looking pretty good, except for that tape line over there. I'm gonna to try to go heavy on it and really see what it looks like. Um, I guess we'll see. See how it comes out. All right guys, time to hit it with that first coat of clear. We're gonna hit everything pretty hard. Um, we'll start with a light coat, then we're gonna go heavier on the next ones. So let's get this set up and then we'll hit it. Sit 15 20 minutes, and now we're gonna get going on coat number two.
right, guys, we are about to do the final coat of clear. This will be two coats of primer, one coat of sealer, three coats of base, and three coats of clear. We're gonna hit it on pretty heavy. We don't want it to run, but so we're not gonna do super heavy, but we're gonna get this done right now and be done with this because this has been a long, long day. So here we go, guys. Let's start this up right now. heater running so that's going to be on for a little bit keep this garage warm right now we were working at about 76 75 degrees so here it is guys here it is painting in the freezing cold you guys could see that we still have snow out there you can see the neighbor's house but right now here we are let's give you guys a quick look at it all it's still drying so um you could see some imperfections still. That's in the door jam, not too worried about that. Here we go over here. This is where all the body work was. I think this came out pretty good, guys. Um, I know I should have replaced the quarter panel. That was the best method, but I wanted to learn as I went and I needed to do it this way. So now I know what it is, what entails to actually pull a panel out and in some situations it's good but the right thing to do would have been replacing the quarter panel i know that no big deal not too worried about it but the only flaw is this where i taped here guys um it is what it is at this point i'm probably going to redo this come summer and i'll just you know sand down this little portion i'll make sure that it's nice and i'll just Hit it with a uh, you know primer and base coat. I got a bunch left over, so we'll take care of that come summer. But right now, this is uh, this is pretty good. And so we blended it. Um, we won't see it all until we actually take all this off. But right now, we are still drying. Did our door handle. Hopefully, you guys can see that. Our door itself, I think, came out really nice. There is a potential for a tiger stripe right in here. But we'll see how that looks. Um, all in all, I think it came out pretty good over here. Um, I put a lot of clear on the edges, so I'm gonna make sure that I don't sand through them. I'm not going through this again. I'm not doing the same thing I did with the A7. So we're gonna do this correctly this time. So paint looks awesome. It came out you got the fender up here. We do have one little drip there, so we're gonna have to sand that out a little bit. But it came out really nice as well rocker panel down here that looks good and our little door cap don't want to forget that bad boy and our bumper bumper came out really well as well so very happy with it um, this is where we did the body work you I mean if you're looking for it I guess you could see it like right in here um, but that's me that's me not being perfect at this stuff yet but all in all we have a little bit of orange peel uh, that's more or less expected. That should buff right out. I do not see any fish eyes though, guys. Very, very psyched about that. No fish eyes. If this is just an orange peel buff, this is gonna be super simple. So all we have to do is just let this cure. I'm gonna research how long I wanna let it cure and we will buff it out. We'll put it on the car. We're probably not gonna do anything with the inside here. So we can probably get everything on the vehicle itself and then we will be able to buff it all out all at once hit it real nice hit the bumper maybe do a paint correction for the entire car and make this look super awesome guys 
this car is towards the end of its build and I am almost upset that I'm giving it away, but it's gonna be an awesome car. My nephew's gonna love it and I think it came out really well. That's gonna do it for today's episode, guys. You saw that it's super snowy out. Um, this is filmed a little bit in the future because it was so cold. Um, but what we had to do was we beat the clock, we used some ingenuity, we cleaned it up, we heated up the garage, we did what we had to do. So we made the most of it. Paint did not come out super perfect, but it went a lot better than it did on the A7. So we're learning as we go. The sign was a lot easier than the last time. And for the most part, very happy with it. So if you guys are new here, hopefully you guys learn alongside me, consider subscribing down below, smash that like button. Everyone else, thank you guys so much for being here and continuing to support me. Make sure you guys comment down below, interact with me, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, everywhere else you see that DIY Savage Guy logo. And also make sure you guys check out the new merch line, just picked it up, got some new stuff out there, sweatshirts, hoodies, all this other stuff. So hopefully you guys will consider picking something up, helping support the channel. Hopefully you guys will be inspired by this. Just learn alongside me and just pick up a wrench, buy a car, do whatever you need to do. Just try to become a DIY savage guy yourself.